Hello, come on in. Hey, mind your step. Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please! Oh, no, you no. bastard! That man just robbed you. I saw it. Get after him. Can't nothing shock me no more. I I mean, I want what's to your vote. problem? I didn't I do insist. this. Is that if we are the right to vote? I had to vote. I wouldn't believe it. Uh, that was, um, this man's crazy! Giddy up! Holy hell! Out of the way! Money or your life? You choose. All right, all right. Damn it, you got me. Oh, here. Hi, uh, everyone. Look what we got here. Uh, Madonna, will you walk? Christ, no! Yeah, we're gonna go. Shit, you don't need to tie me up. Yeah, it's a bomb. Let's have a second, guys. This is uh, very kind of you. Gosh. Come on, please. It was just a bit of cash. My cash. Who uh who so? I cook up, I'll go. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? So uh, Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute. I promise. We're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? Nice match. A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Yeah. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Welcome. That's right. I thought. I didn't. I hope this won't smoke. Um. Um. Yeah. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. What the hell? I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say that. Hey! I really must Let insist. Now please remove that mask. Okay then. There. Excellent. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I hope. Everything you need and more in there. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. Oh, yeah. I could definitely see you in one of those sets. Now that will bring your outfit together. It says it was Are you looking for something to go with what you just bought? No. 
I'm okay, I'm okay. Careful now. Out of the way. Careful. Out again. Yes, a bit tight around here. Won't you support our veterans and their families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. Hey, you. You ain't supposed to be Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. I got um, Please find it in your heart to give to those who gave everything. Your donation. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Yeah. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this? You're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Is this the place? <coughs> must be. It okay. must be, I like. I guess. This, I, this, I, this. Hey, see, folks. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Ah! Ah! You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Nick. Long. I'll go see what's it. Who are these buffoons? I'm here for the picciotto. What do you say? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion, <laughs> and I've not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence. Indeed you have. Yeah, this is what I feel like. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah, we, uh, we... so uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? 
No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. Okay. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it. The best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> yeah. uh <-huh. laughs> Go. Salute. Salute. It's so out. We can go Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. All right, well. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branson. Yeah. All the money okay. we cost him. Yeah. must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Okay, oh, yeah. come. All right, let's see what's going on in here. I'll try this way. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. yourself home. Who's in a tank? Who's a tank?
there, boy. Yeah. Let's keep going. Look out there's things that we couldn't learn. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Getting cut. Hey, John. Over here. Yeah, that's all. Yes, sir. You boys found my puppies watching. Damn it! How many you see? Three? Four? Hard to tell. You should have played Mr. Bronte. Uh. See what bastards are trying to draw us out. Reckon this is going to wake a few people up? No doubt. I need to go oh, on. Come on. You can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, blast it. You made a big mistake coming in, huh? One. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time, Touch can go and I'll have a drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Keep your head down. God. Oh, now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Right there, probably. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it.
Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Luck. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. There's someone coming. Hide. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. I tell you something about it. With me. Honey, come down. I'm done. Okay. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Girl? Good. Let's just walk normal. Looks like we lost him for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Okay. All right, let's get this done. Let's shut off. Leaving you here, girl. Come on, well. quick! Come on, Arthur. That's the top of the thing, yeah. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and no, us, no, no, no. just simple country boys. <sighs> we have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah, we're with the Goober Goat then. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure yeah. you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they... Do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Ooh, yeah. Papa Bronte oh, teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best.
best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. <laughs> you had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Wow. Oh, Unbelievable. <laughs> Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward Whoa. now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Uh. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Oh, Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, 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 so. We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh... Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. I got <laughs> He's back, all right. <laughs> Hey, make some room for John there. Oh, that was us. I want to go say but we are super fun. It goes to Google. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a, yeah, it is. been better. Maybe you were bad. Okay. Well, it's in me. My dear Arthur. Yeah. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but yeah, I understand that mine. Jamie's thinking about going back to college. Uh, Whatever I happens, soup. I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? <laughs> Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Good morning, Arthur. Hi. Hi. Alright, son. Damn. How's that? Oh, oh, we're going I think we get after it, well, that one more.
That says to, um, cell phone. Arthur? How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really. But he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Yeah. Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. Hello, Reverend. Hello, Karen. I won't be able to make that for you without more materials. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Well, my God, what did I, I drink last I night? Should try to clear my what is that cool boy now? That's who a boy. What a boy it was out. Come on, girl. This is it's our cover. I was waiting for an album to go from a bigger thing with me at six, but I don't wait hours. Yeah, I think I'm a lot. It was a lame boom. Trying to have so much money in my way. I have so much money. Hey, too. We were from. Yeah. We could have a good sell. But it's not up to it for me to lose anymore. So that's why we need to do. 